Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 25th of February, Friday of the week of Epiphany 7, William Barclay, 1907-1978. Oh, and never mind how spot on right this is finally. This is dangerous kind of thinking in a time of wokeness. And Barclay takes us with Paul to Philemon. Hear it through. Many people have wondered why Paul says nothing in the letter of Philemon about the whole matter of slavery. He does not condemn slavery. He does not even tell Philemon to set Onesimus free. It is as a slave that he would have taken him back. There are those who have criticized Paul for not seizing the opportunity to condemn the slavery on which the ancient world was built. Lightfoot says, the word emancipation seems to tremble on his lips, but he never utters it. It was as a slave that Osamansi ran away, and it was as a slave he was coming back. But now he was not only a slave, he was a beloved brother in the Lord. When a relationship like that enters into life, social grades and caste cease to matter. The very names, master, and slave become irrelevant. If the master treats the slave as Christ would have treated him, and as the slave serves the master as he would Christ, then it does not matter if you call one master and the other slave. Their relationship does not depend on any human classification, for they are both in Christ. It does not mean that the master must be soft and easygoing and willing to accept bad workmanship and inferior service, but it does mean that he no longer treated any servant as a thing, but as a person and a brother in Christ. And the prayer, Brooke Westcott, 1825-1901. Almighty God, who has sent the Spirit of truth unto us to guide us into all truth, so rule our lives by thy power that we may be truthful in word, deed, and thought. O keep us, most merciful Savior, with thy gracious protection, that no fear or hope may ever make us false in act or speech, cast out from us whatsoever loveth or maketh a lie, and make us all to the perfect freedom of thy truth. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen.